So, uh, Ravi, tell me about the, what you do, what your company does, and, and why you're here. So we started already? We started. We're starting the interview right now. Are you nervous? No, no. I'm, no. no, no. So I give my pitch for the audience. No, now. You, 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 got, you can look at that camera right there. That's, okay. that's where you're going to be. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So we hear a lot about climate change for a long time. I hear now. a lot. of. Is there no. really climate change? Is it true? The, it is true. Okay. And what is, there are two parts of climate change. One is weather patterns are changing, but the summers are really getting hotter. And they're getting hotter in different parts of the world, which hither earlier never even required air conditioning. For example, Seattle, right? Yeah, I'm going to just move your mic up a little bit closer. Okay, okay, go ahead. Right? So now, and then there's the developing, the emerging economies that are seeing a lot more hotter climate, and they're buying air conditioners for the first time. Now, if you look at climate change, the biggest thing that you can do for climate change now, flagged off by many different entities, including drawdown.org, is air conditioning. So air conditioning is a massive problem. We are solving two different things. One is air conditioning is causing climate change because they keep using harmful chemical-based refrigerants. Isn't that going away, the refrigerant? So ironically, on 31st December 2019, eight days ago, was the very last day of CFC, Freon. Most people thought Freon was gone, but it wasn't actually entirely gone till eight right. days ago. Right. And that caused, uh, you know, skin cancer incidences and all that. So a lot of people are happy it's gone. But a lot of Americans don't know that actually it's gone and they have air conditioners in their homes having Freon. So they, if they need a most, repair... Most of them do. Yeah, most of them do. And if they need a repair, they're going to have to buy a new air conditioner. But guess the only new air conditioner available up until the time we came along was another... Uh, chemical-based refrigerant, and that is HFC, and it's a super greenhouse gas, where regulations are already being written to get it, get rid of it. So you could buy an air conditioner without knowing that it's going to be phased out at some point. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I happen to have a couple properties, and the uh, they all have uh, the old coolant. Right. Because they're old properties. Right. So if something breaks and I need coolant right now, can't get it? So it depends which one you have. If you have the really older one, the CFC or Freon base, yes. you can get it. And you have to, you will be forced to buy a new one. Now, some people might tell you that, oh, we can use the same Freon, but it's not advisable and it's something that you're not supposed to do, right? Now, uh, because the system is not gate for that. So I'm looking at a whole new air conditioning system. Absolutely. And that's a huge cost to you. Don't sound so happy. <laughs> Absolutely. So where we come in is we use water as a refrigerant. And we are solving that problem and getting rid of the chemical-based refrigerant. But the other problem that happens is, like in oh, in Las Vegas, you see 110 degree, 120 degree Fahrenheit days. Yeah, I right? live in Arizona. I know all right. about it. Right. Now, typical air conditioners don't keep up with that. So many people see that they have failure of air conditioning on those worst part of the summer heat, right? We are agnostic to ambient temperature. We do amazingly well, even at those high temperature days, as well as we do on a 80 degree Fahrenheit day. So how do we work? We use, as I said, we use water as a refrigerant, which is by far the best known refrigerant out there. But it wasn't used because if you use water in a regular, typical air conditioner, the size of that air conditioner would be the size of the home or bigger. So we got around that by using a molecular sieve. So water is a polar molecule, hydrogen and oxygen, they exhibit different charge. So oxygen sitting in the center of two hydrogen is highly electronegative. So we use a molecular sieve which has a nanostructure and that nanopore is sized to the water molecule but it also is sodium impregnated. Sodium causes it to be electropositive, so right. opposite so. charge attract and the water molecule is attracted to the sodium. The other beauty of this molecular sieve which is a non-moving part, it's a synthetic mineral, is if you apply heat to it, it rejects the molecule out. So what does an air conditioner need? The biggest part of the air conditioner is a compressor. It's a pump. It pulls the refrigerant from one side, pushes it on the other side. Mixes it and comes right, out cold. Right. And in our case, we don't need a compressor. Our molecular sieve actually acts as a compressor with no moving part. So it pulls the, molecule, the water molecule based on the molecular attraction and ejects it by heat. So we use natural gas or propane and in future hydrogen. So we will be the very first carbon-free air conditioning on the entire planet. So I'm still buying a new air conditioning system though. You are buying, but you will be buying Oxycool if you go on 10th January at 10 a.m. Eastern time and place a pre-order for $100 refundable deposit. What's the air conditioning system going to cost these days? Like, I don't know, 10 Sears, something like that, whatever they... 
Right, so we are only going to announce the pricing on the 10th. On so this website. isn't available yet. It's going to be available on the 10th of January. In a few days. So today's the 8th. Today's the 8th. So in a couple of days, you can go on our website. So in two days, I can put on, I can put my order in. Absolutely. So we want to be fair to people. A lot of people are showing interest and they want the earlier serial numbers because we'll deliver the orders in the way they are, you know, they're serialized. But how do I know what's, I don't mean to interrupt you, but how do I know what size I need to order? So what happens is that's when, when you first order, you, all you're placing is a $100 refundable deposit to get your place in the queue. Oh, to get when, my place in the queue. When your queue comes through, we will call you and we will say we have all kinds of configurations. We will be very user friendly. If you want a central air conditioner with a standard duct structure, because your ducts are still good, we'll give you that. If your ducts are old and they need replacement, we'll say you you probably want to consider moving away from ducts because they cause leakage and all that. And we have, we'll give you a ductless system. So we are very user friendly in the kind of configurations we can give you. The outside unit is very attractive. If you are here on the show, you must go either to Westgate where we have a booth or we won an innovation award. And our Well, for all the people that are watching, you're going to have a rough time going to your booth. So like, what's your website? Where, where can we go to? So you should go to www.oxycool, spelled O-X-I-C-O-O-L. Dot com. Okay. Now, do you install it? Do you install the air conditioning or you have that done by other people who do that? Right. So we don't, the installation is very simple with us because everything is self-contained in the outside unit. The inner okay. installation, a plumber can do it or a, okay. a, a lot of people can do it themselves. So we'll give you different configurations based on what kind of options do you want. And there's self-install and there's install where an installer can do it. Interesting. So you got to give us a feel for what what this cost? Give me a look up into the sky and pick a number. So that's for, for an average <laughs> home, so, whatever so, that is. So our first units are going. I'm to not going to let them get out of here without <laughs> giving you a price. Don't worry. So our average home, American home, 3,000 square feet. That's what we are targeting right now. One okay. of our units is going to target 3,000 square feet. Have you replaced an air conditioner for a 3,000 square feet home any time in your life? Have I? Hmm. If you have replaced it, you would know the price points and we'll be very competitive with that. You know what? You're not giving me a price, though. You're telling me you're going to be competitive. I'm, I'm give me a rough. It's going to be in two days. What's going to happen? Uh, so, look, uh, if I have to give you a ballpark number, it's somewhere in the, you know, it's it'll be, if you replace an air conditioner, oftentimes you'll find that the number is almost $15,000. Some people might call, under call it at $8,000. We'll be somewhere in between that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You know, that's the business to be, to be in then. Right. I mean, if you're living in Arizona or California or even here in Vegas, uh, in Nevada, uh, and you've got an older air conditioning system, it's going to go. It's, it's not, Absolutely. not when, it, and it's not if, it's when. Exactly. The that's going to be a lucrative business because there's tens of thousands of people that are going to need to have that replaced. Absolutely. And, the, you know, the demand is growing also. So new people want air conditioning who did not even have. So I'm getting calls from, uh, you know, San Francisco folks were there. They said, hey, we, we have building where there was no air conditioning. How do we install? We are perfect for those kind of situations because Interesting. we don't need ducts. What about if you have larger homes, other than, you know, larger than 3,000 feet? Well, we can go for even for small buildings. So we have big, oh, really? box, big box stores talking to us. We have a modular design. So a unit that you see on a booth, if you happen to come by, uh, another beauty of our technology is we can store energy. So we have a storage-only system which has 50,000 BTU of energy stored because we are not allowed to bring in natural gas over here. So we, got, we use the storage part of our feature. So we can go off the grid. Um, the amount of electricity we use is very little. So you can literally run from an electrical perspective our system on solar panels because we use natural gas. And typically when you have disasters, natural gas doesn't go away. Or you can even go and get propane and run it, right? That's interesting with propane. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's ready available. It's relatively inexpensive absolutely, today. Absolutely, absolutely. Interesting. So we, we have just so much user friendliness and dependability. The other thing is we think the people who buy your system, uh, the systems may last their lifetime. Really? Now, do you have these up in operation? Are they around? They up, so, they out? So, no, the way the... This is the first ones we are launching. Okay, so you have no track record. No, we have no track record, but we've worked on... That kind of scares me. No, well, we have developed this over the last 10 years. Okay. And we have been working... Uh, our first focus was to launch what we call Truck Cool. With, and we have been working with the, one of the world's third la three largest heavy truck companies. Okay. And to launch Truck Cool. It's just that the home cool market 
is easier to launch than the Truckool. Truckool is a mobile application, oh, sure. and the truck market is changing right now. So I think from a strategic perspective, and with CFC going away, we chose to regroup and say let's launch home air conditioning right now so you're going to be pretty busy we are very busy we have a 50,000 square feet factory with lasers and robots now where's your factory it's in greater philadelphia area in melbourne pennsylvania okay you know I'm, i was born and raised in pennsylvania oh you were i was well then i you, was you i know where philadelphia is <laughs> so you, you then know just say for the sake of it go eagles <laughs> 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 Unless you are a Cowboys fan. <laughs> Actually, I was a Patriots fan. Don't, yeah. don't go crazy out yeah. there. You can order this, pre-order this on the website. On I the would defense. be nervous because, one, you don't have anybody right now using it because you weren't ready to launch it. I get that. But how, how do I get, you know, my confidence up that this is, a you know, a good pro project, you know, a good well, well, this is, we, it's not that we launched this in like two months, right? This is a long collaboration. So let me give you some history of the technology. Yeah, right? we got about right. two minutes. Right. So this was the original base technology was developed by U.S. Navy, specifically NAVAIR, oh. for over 10 years and millions of dollars of research for helicopter crew air conditioning system. for. Oh, so, pilots, so this right? has been proven already. So, so they had done that. And I walked, so they ran into a hurdle where they couldn't bring the weight down. The science was done amazingly well, right? I walked into them, uh, uh, their place. I wanted to launch a motorcycle air conditioning system, believe it or not, for India. And I stumbled into <laughs> it, and I start. You know, they loved me. I don't know why, but I was giving them. Well, a you're a nice guy. I was giving them a horrible pitch. I was telling them I'm a one-man show. I've never worked with the U.S. government before, and I want to launch this in India. I don't know why they didn't kick me out, but they liked me, and we started doing agreements, which took a year to negotiate. In that time, I was in my bathroom dabbling with the technology, and I stumbled on a way to make it bigger. And I went and told them, and said, "Oh my God, how did you do it?" And I showed him that led to my first That's invention awesome. in life. I love stories like yeah. that. Well, I have to uh, go yeah. because uh, we're, our, our, our time is up. But Ravi, it was a, a real pleasure speaking with you. I wish you luck. Thank you very much. And uh, remember me when you get to be real big. You know, Absolutely. a year from now, we'll come back and we'll, we'll see how you're we'll doing. We'll have another podcast. Okay, okay. great. Right. Good you. luck with that. Thank you.